pylon work. Pylon work. And just more pylon work. To hide these ugly things here now, I'm just gonna add like a board or something around it because this needs to be evened out anyway. So I'm just gonna conceal it with, with some additional material. But otherwise, this is quite good. I'm happy with that. So uh, there's the big picture. So I'm thinking these should go with lights. And then the cabling going down in the back. Now I'll just drill out the rest. This. Okay, so now I have aligned this as, uh, as much as I can, so it's about the same on each side here. So now I need to get this glued and then I'm gonna leave it overnight to set. Okay, so... Um, here we have the two pieces, the top and the bottom, and I tried to uh, just stick the, the pipes with glue. Didn't really work out that well, so I had to come up with a new idea. And actually, uh, since I own a 3D printer, uh, I thought that, hey, maybe just print the fittings for the pipes that's going to go out on the sides. It's going to be... Uh, much nicer design if I do that and it's guaranteed to be straight well as far as guarantee as a 3d printer goes I have actually already printed the parts that I need it's a very simple part it's uh, just for the piping and for two screws and then down a little on the side because uh, there was some it's gonna be like a, a rim around the, the rod or the, the pipe so it's gonna come out a little from the, the glass tank so I need to do something on the edge, like that, to cover uh, the gap that's going to be here otherwise. So, yeah, I already have six of these, so just putting them on, like so, one on each side. And then of course I have already done the same on these other two. So my idea here now is to can turn that around to, to minimize the gaps here. I'm just gonna put that there. About tank in the middle. Like so. And then these ones as well. Now because these uh, fittings here now is quite high. I have some leeway to adjust so the, the pipe that I've cut doesn't have to be perfect because I can hide that and adjust that within the uh, fitting. So that's also a, a good shortcut to take. I need to turn this around. Adjust that a little. So yeah, basically like that. And then the, the top. Going on top, it needs to be that way. Yeah, something like that. Look, doesn't look bad. I can actually work with this. This will make, uh, make my life a lot easier. Like so. Looks actually pretty nice. So uh, yeah, I'm confident that this will do the trick. So what I need to do now is just to make sure that these holes are aligned and then uh, 
attach the uh, the fittings. I'm just gonna remove one fitting from each here. And then I'll get to work. Now I need screws for these. I'm thinking maybe a rod with nice uh, heads or just uh, an immediate screw uh, that I can use. I haven't actually made my mind up yet. So yeah, uh, here then. Would I like it to look like this? About, or maybe a little bigger head. Like this, on, on every top. Or would I like it to be a little more professional looking? I think this looks quite awesome to be honest. Uh, have it like that instead. Uh, I think I'm gonna stick with this uh, design. So, but unfortunately I don't have this material, so I'm off to the shop and I'll see you later. Yeah, I've been at the shop now. Got myself some screws. First I need to drill the holes for these. So I'm just gonna make some pilot holes here. There, now I have about where I should drill. And uh, I'm gonna go with four millimeter screws. So I need a four millimeter drill, which I do not think this is. Oh. Doesn't say. Ah, let's try it. I can always make it bigger, not smaller. Let's, uh, let's try this. It's probably a three millimeter then, so I'll just switch that out. Okay, let's try this. Now I bought two different lengths, one 40 millimeter and one 50 millimeter. Just gonna check about the length. Looks like that 40, if I want to use it, I have to sink it, which I probably will anyway. Most probably I'll stick to the 45 because it's gonna be up a little here, I do believe. Because I would like to have a little rubber carpet on here to uh, have some kind of, you know, kind of suspension for the tank when I'm pressing them all together to make a tight seal. One on the bottom, one on the top. And uh, that is about two millimeters, so... Uh, looks like I need to do it. Something like that. Let's try that. So yeah, I was thinking like a rubber suspension pad. Like so. About... I need to cut through that as well. Let's sink this first. Not much, just a little. Yep, that's good. I can adjust this gap later with uh, just washers or something, or a shorter screw, shorten the screw maybe. So. Yeah, I kind of like the look of that, actually.
Right, let's do the other side. Okay, this will go on from this side, so uh, let's get do on the rubber now, on the both halves. Like this, and another one here. Okay, so this side is against the tank's top. This side. I need to fit this. So let's just glue this in place. And the same with this. And then sandwich the tank like so. Now just using just regular universal glue basically for this. Because this was a bit too short on the edges here. So I would like to have that backwards so you don't see it if you're looking for it. You can leave the gap behind. Something like that. Let's do the other one. Same thing here, apply so you get the front of the demo, everything, and then leave a little at the back in case you have an edge. So I'm gonna try to put it in the back so we hide it as much as possible. Those are the two halves, or the two lids. So now I just need to wait for these to dry. So I'll just sandwich these together. There. So, just uh, leave this to dry for a couple of hours. Okay, it's been about 24 hours. Uh, this has hopefully now dried up. So, let's inspect this. not the best glue for this I guess but since it's gonna be connected anyway with screws uh, I'll just leave it for now if I have to re-glue it later I'll do it later but for now we'll just work with this okay so now I'm just gonna trim this around here and for that I'm just gonna use a normal scissors Okay, so there we have the uh, rubber gaskets in place, trimmed. Oh, this helps the traction a lot. It's very, very nice to have that. This looks already a lot better. Need to fix these into place as well. So. Take 
that away. I'm just gonna punch a new hole through the rubber here. Need a little wrench for this. Haha! <laughs> nice! Let's do the other two. There! Looking good! Now I hope this fits, it does, it is pretty good fit as well, it's not much uh, leeway around, I can move it slightly but that, perfect, right, that makes me happy, now with the piping, good! Let's do the top. Okay, so there we have it. Now let's uh, test fit these. So we have our tank now. And the pipes. That is nice. Now. I do have to adjust this a little, because I don't know if you can see this, but there is a gap here. And that's only because these pipes are a little too long. So I'll disassemble that and uh, uh, adjust it. But that's a really good start. I like this. I like the look of this. It's very like crazy scientistic, <laughs> so to speak. All right. So let's just uh, reduce the length on these. And look at that, there's no gap, and this is not moving at all, but so far so good. Need to start fitting everything to the top here, need, need to start planning where you know all the wiring is going to go down into the hole, all that kind of stuff. Stage one pretty much done, let's move on to stage two.